குட் மார்னிங் வணக்கம் வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ விக்ஷித் பாரத் ஆஸ் என்விஷன் பை அவர் ஆனரபிள் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் மோடிஜி த கப்புள் ஆஃப் இயர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் வென் இந்தியா அசியூம் தி ஜி டுவெண்டி பிரசிடென்ட்ஷிப் அவர் ஆனரபிள் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் கேம் அவுட் வித் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கான்செப்ட் கால் வசுதெய்வ குடும்பக்கம் which essentially means that our youth must be prepared to become a global citizen in this context it becomes very important for all teachers to understand that there are 17 sustainable development goals of the united nation and all our projects our research our education our lifelong training skilling everything must orient towards at least one or couple of these sustainable development goals this is very very prominent today that even if you go for a simple financing of bank loans i am sure within a few years we will have a very well defined esg which is environmental security and governance and every project that would be funded has to align with some of these sustainable development goals and one very important sustainable development goal is education providing accessible affordable quality education for all and friends that is the most important thing from an indian context because we are the youngest population today in the world in the age group of 15 to 35 and if we do not do the education properly now we may become an uneducated nation which will have its own social repercussion so a lot of responsibility on all of us as teachers to guide the youth who will lead india in the great vikshit bharat 2047 as we march towards our 100th year of independence with this as a background we are looking at three important verticals one is school education another is higher education and lifelong learning and the third is anusandhan which is research the main focus of today's this event would be on higher education and associated research as nep is celebrating its fifth birthday we have an akhil bharatiya shiksha samagam organized on 29th of this month the policy has become extremely important specifically in this context one of the most important aspect of this policy is to bring in multidisciplinary education where we are looking at students from arts engineering and uh, management and all sciences to come together to develop products that will have a good social bearing and at the same time will be aligned to the sustainable development goals lot of emphasis is also put on lifelong learning because the technology is changing today there is a in my opinion a fear that ai is going to take all the jobs ai is not going to take all the jobs out but people who are not adept with ai who are not knowledgeable about ai will find their profession much less challenging than people who much less rewarding than people who know ai so there is a need for us to continuously keep learning and the third important thing is innovation and entrepreneurship vikshit bharat 2047 if it has to be really vikshit as dreamt by our honorable prime minister it has to be a product nation it has to be a patent nation it also needs very very strong impetus on startups now becoming global and lot of effort needs to be put for innovation and entrepreneurship so in a broad sense if you look at the 11 sessions that are organized in this particular event when lakshman ji approached us the underlying theme is to look at these three aspects one is multidisciplinary approaches lifelong learning how to continue and keep adapt with the technology and how to become an innovation and entrepreneurship nation fully supported by research jay anusandhan friends i would like to continue uh, i like to finish my talk here 
by just giving you one pointer higher education the input to higher education comes from school education as teachers of higher education we must also aspire to put our best efforts in developing good materials in developing lot more of training modules for the school teachers because the gross enrollment ratio of number of students who finish their plus 2 and come to higher education today stands at around an average of 27 to 28% and the nep has set a milestone of 50% by 2035 and there is a long way to go and this is something that we have to look at the last one is that education has to be inclusive we must aspire as swami vivekananda has said if the education if the poor cannot afford education the education must reach the poor we must use the technology we must use multiple facilities that are available the multiple exit multiple uh, entry policies given by the nep the academic bank of credits and also <coughs> that we can do two degrees at the same time so many many interesting po policies and regulations have come over a period of time and i think we have to utilize it to the brim to ensure that the education is democratized every student aspiring student deserving student get the education that they are in need of with this i wish this event a great success i thank the abrsm and tita for inviting me here and also be part of this very exciting conference thank you very much and wish you all the best let us all work together to make vikshit bharat 2047 and teachers have a very big role to play and i am sure all of you are tuned in are you thank you